previously on Robbie for Shorts Drag Race. I already have a season three planned a little bit, so you can expect that coming at a later point in time. I really kept you waiting a whole year for this Drag Race simulator season. How dare I starve my audience for the content they deserve? Cancel me, honestly. Hello everyone, my name is Roberto Julio Federico Garcia Lorca del Simulacro, but you may call me Robbie for short. And today we're having Pokemon coordinators compete for the crown in a third season of my Drag Race Simulator series. I'm joined by the lovely Aria Zero. Hi everyone, I'm Aria Zero. Thank you so much for having me, Robbie. I'm so excited to do this with you. Aria is known for her Pokemon Drag Race Simulator series on TikTok and also on YouTube. I was a part of her latest season, Pokemon Drag Race Water, which you can find in a playlist titled Robbie for Shorts Drag Race on my channel. Now, without further ado, Let's get started. Subscribe, I dare you. All righty, let's get this roast to cook in. Or whatever pheromones are. Roast to cook in. I also have water because we're going to do a lot of talking today. All righty. A cold chai latte that was warm. Point. Let's meet our lovely contestants for Drag Race Simulator Season 3. First off, we have May and Dawn, our two protagonists from the third and fourth generation of the Pokemon anime. Nando. Nando is kind of doing his own thing. He's, he will have neutral relationships to every character. Zoe. Zoe is Dawn's main rival on the show. Zoe ended up winning the Grand Festival in the final, like, challenge like final battle between dawn and zoe i'm expecting zoe to go far in this competition she, win. she might win anime predicts anything. She won. then we have fantina fantina is oh, a iconic. icon an iconic, iconic. pokemon Diva. coordinator of the Sinnoh region everybody knows her everybody loves her mm -hmm. and then we have the drama the plain jane of the season I hope. You never know how this simulator is gonna go. Harley! And if you know Harley from the anime, Harley has a feud mama with May. May and Harley detest each other. I remember not liking Harley when I watched this show as a kid, because of course I was Team May, but I really feel like I'm accidentally sporting Team Harley here. And next we have Kenny, which will be the drama for Dawn. Kind of a similar situation, but not as intense. Zoe is Dawn's main rival. Kenny is a rival, but not the rival. Kenny's a twerp. We talked about May and we talked about Dawn, but Serena is here because she is a Pokemon showcase expert. And Serena, Serena also... <laughs> Sorry, I'm ruining your video. <laughs> Serena Chacha's here? We're gonna move on. You're right for that. You're like trying to give her a nice intro. Everyone loves her. She's like a fan favorite, like counterpart to Ash, other than Misty maybe. And I'm like, <laughs> Serena Chacha? Well, we know she read books. Serena actually does Pokemon contests, like in the other regions of Pokemon. They just never really explored it in the anime. They just kind of mentioned it in passing, but I thought it was important to have her here because she is also a main protagonist in the anime. And the most important contestants in this entire show, we have wild card contestants, Sugar and Spice. Woo! I'm totally kidding. This is Jesse and James. Give it up for Jesse and James. Woo! We love Jesse and James. Jesse and James are the queer duo that we deserve. First things first, Jesse in the Pokemon contest, Jessalina. That's absolutely her drag persona. We have James as Jessalina, as Jesse. So I'm very team. Uh, Jesse or James, or both of them winning. Get that double crowning. Get that double crowning. I, we, we hope so. Can we can only imagine? hope. We're gonna do normal premiere, no eliminations, remaining queens vote for the returning queen, and a jury vote finale. Because we have a Pokemon contest theme, it is very much about being congenial. Who's gonna win That's true. this third season? Me. I'm gonna win. All right, starting off, Nando's already won a mini challenge. And for this first challenge, they're bringing it to the runway. The first thing that I'm fixating on is my bad eyes have made out the word purple there and Harley slayed with that purple hair. Oh, so yes, he did. Like, maybe purple's a little bit canon because like Fantina's high up. You know what else is purple? This entire ditto background. We manifested <laughs> the, the purple. My hair. We brought purple for episode one. Based on tonight's performances, oh. Oh, the twerp and Harley both won! I mean, they are kind of the haters 
to the protagonist. We're already starting strong with that plain Jane storyline. You know Dawn's livid that Kenny beat her. She's like, this is because you have a print plop and my pip lip doesn't want to evolve. The real competition is about to begin. Introducing a new queen into the race. Welcome, Juan! Woo! Hello? Yeah, I didn't... I didn't tell you. Juan competed in my second season of the Drag Race Simulator mm -hmm. and went home first. Juan is a lovely Pokemon coordinator as well as a gym leader, so it just it just made sense. Makes the sense. crossover needed to happen. So did he come in in a box then? He might have come in in like a conch shell situation. <gasps> in a clam pearl. Because a really in a big clam, clam pearl. pearl. Yes. Dressed up like a Huntail or a Gorbis. All right, our next episode, this, this mini challenge winner is Harley. What about the um the dress up game? <gasps> yes, they dress up their Pokemon in like little costumes. He probably brought a Cacnea gonna... for the cuteness factor. Cause then they could dress up together. Yes. And the next maxi challenge is an improv challenge. We have teams. Okay. Ooh, the baddies together. The little villains Harley, of the season. Harley, Jesse, James, and Kenny, the twerps with the uh, twerp haters, but not the correct twerp. What am I saying? The evil ones. And then team Dylan. two with Zoe, May, and Serena. Team three with Ooh. Dawn, Fantina, Juan, and Nando. Team three is the fillers. And by filler, um, I don't mean that Fantina is filler. Fantina is an icon. I just mean that in terms of states, in terms of relationships, they don't have the yeah. same state. And Fantina's the winner! Whoa! So what did I just say? Fantina filler. is not a filler queen. And team two is in the bottom, which means that May and Zoe are up for elimination. That's really awkward. I did say that I thought Zoe might win the whole thing. May knew every single word but had a bad lip sync. Ooh, it's like she knew the song by heart, but flop in the dance perform in the dance department. <laughs> she knew the song by heart, but did the wrong <sighs> genre of dance. May. <laughs> Sashay no. away. It was you know what's really ironic? May being the, the generation three protagonist and being sent home first in the third season yeah. of the simulator. I hate that Jesse and James are both safe and safe. <laughs> I mean who knows? Maybe they might get the chance later on. Anytime they don't get a high placement, they're robbed. Episode three, the mini challenge, and Jesse won! What were we just talking about? And in the maxi Not challenge, we're doing we're doing a maxi challenge, doing the comedy routine. The roast of Wallace. Oh yeah, the miscongeniality from the first season. Yeah, oh, a miscongeniality roast. Yes, Mira B from the second season, and we have Wallace from the first season. And based on tonight's performances, Zoe, Fantina, Jesse, Nando, Juan, and Don are the tops and bottoms of the week. And Zoe, congratulations! Wow. Listen. Zoe, good for you. You've had your redemption arc. I'm mad about this bottom two. <laughs> wow. These are my wow. Season. They both oh, slate the lip sync. Uh, they would. They would. Save them you. both. Save them both. I dare you. Production, you won't. No! <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't meant to be. Didn't expect this to be as painful as it yeah. is being. But let me tell you, the protagonist girlies, they must be thrilled. They're thrilled, but this is mini challenge curse if I've ever seen it. And in the untucked, James asks the cast if she seems arrogant. Oh, this is the <laughs> This it's an explosive fight. It was probably with one of the one of the protagonist girlies. Let's Please see the God. relationships. <gasps> see, I said it. Right there. Right on the money. <laughs> see, protagonist girlies, Dawn and Serena are enemies. Honestly? They are enemies because Jesse's <laughs> gone and I'm Team James now. <laughs> We're gonna go. <laughs> Episode four and the mini challenge wins goes to Kenny. That little twerp. Oh, we're doing snatch game. If James don't win this as Jesse, I'm gonna cry. They were they were gonna do each other. <gasps> Imagine that would have been so good. Nando would do cricket too. Yes, so on brand for you. <laughs> Oh, and then Harley does character, and Kenny does Kenny Dawn. Kenny does Dawn. Does Dee Dee. I'm so glad I watched that season recently. Dawn would do her mom. Dawn would, Dawn do, her would mom. do her mom. Who would Zoe do? There was some sassy girl in that in the Diamond Pearl series who was like mean and did contests. Did she have ponytails? Yeah, her name's Ursula. Her. And we have the infamous question of who should go home tonight, and why. Zoe picked Nando because they were lacking experience to be a winner. True. Oh! <laughs> and the winner of the challenge is Harley! Congratulations! Harley just won Snatch Game doing his character and impersonation. I am obsessed. 
Harley's gonna make it through the whole season just being captured. <laughs> and James was in the top doing Jesse, and Zoe did a good job as well. And in the bottom we have Nando and Kenny. I am so sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. I hope Kenny goes home. <laughs> Kenny oh, slayed wow. the lip sync and Nando had a good lip sync. Oh, Kenny, Shantae, you stay. Dang, I am. We were really, <laughs> we were really hoping for Kenny to go home, but you know what? This is fine. We get the drama. And in Untucked, we have Harley and James are betting on who will eat a dragonfly for $100, not the diet, come on. Is James? Wait, wait. <laughs> James and Harley betting on who's gonna eat a dragonfly? Jesse had a Yan Mega. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> that is your friend's Pokemon who got eliminated. Episode five. Today's mini challenge winners are Serena and Juan. Congratulations! Oh, and for the maxi challenge, we're doing outfits. Serena slayed that challenge. That's correct. With Kalos being the fashion region. Absolutely, correct. yes. <laughs> and the challenge winner is Serena. Woo! Congratulations. This is such whiplash though, because I'm already peeking at the bottom there. Kenny and Harley. The first Harley has two, two wins. challenge winners. We already had Jesse and James, and yeah. Jesse already went home. But like, this is the other duo of villains. Oh no, Harley jumped off the stage! Is this gonna be is this gonna be rage or is this gonna be a plasma situation? <gasps> Harley, Shantae, you stay. I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know if I don't know if I'm happy because the little twerp went home or if I am upset because it was rigged for Harley's two wins. I don't... I know, right? Harley is the plain Jane. They really are saving her for this competition. And during Untucked, Fantina and Juan, James and Don are, are having a little bonding moment. What is happening? Oh, you know what? Do you know what happened? Fantina, Juan, and Don were like having a little moment mm -hmm. together and then James wanted to insert himself because he really needed Jesse to like process his feelings and he's just yeah. looking for that person. James is used to having Jesse. James is used to having Meow. James is used to having Cacnea. None of them are here. <laughs> Episode six in the mini challenge Episode is the reading challenge. And the winner is Harley would win this mini challenge. Absolutely See? he would because he would read everybody in this group. I agree with that, but I also thought Sabrina might win because she reads books. <laughs> <laughs> And for the Maxi Challenge, it's it's a performance challenge. Tops and bottoms of the week, they sent James to Untucked by himself so that he could have, he he needed to vent and they brought Jesse on a video camera. Oh, oh that's so sweet of them. That's Production probably what so they did. so nice in your universe. <laughs> and the winner is Fantina. Congratulations. Wow. Ooh, Serena and Juan. Sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. Serena slayed that, that lip sync and Juan did a bad lip sync. You know, I wasn't really blown away by this performance. Oh. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Juan, unfortunately, did not. He did not show up in the way that he should have. It's giving Vanessa Vanjie Mateo in season 11. Didn't win a single thing. Had a good showing, but you know, mm. it's... We were, it, it was good having you here. Episode sevens. Wow, Harley is really winning all of these mini challenges. And for today's maxi challenge, we're doing a runway challenge. Of course, Fantina would do amazing in this challenge. And Fantina, congratulations. That's just like I said, Fantina, fashion queen in her, in her drift blim gown. Absolutely. Oh, and James and Serena, I'm sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. Oh my gosh. I don't know who they sent home here. Serena has a win, but... Serena, Serena has, has a win? Lip yeah, and then James is it's a little bit of a fan favorite. <gasps> James had a great lip sync. Serena had a good lip sync. This could go either way. James, Shantae, you stay. Ah, oh, so thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Arceus. What a lovely surprise. We're having a queen come back. Let's see who the queens voted for to bring back into the competition. Harley voted for Kenny, of course he would. Zoe voted for Serena. Fantina voted for Juan. Don voted for Serena. James voted for Jesse. Did Serena just sneak her way back in immediately? Yeah. I think she took a little bit of time to, you know, read up on her books to come back into the competition. <laughs> Not the books again. 
She's back and she's educated. Episode eight and Fantina and Harley won the mini challenge. Harley the is mini winning. Is having purple hair. <laughs> If you have purple hair, you win. It's another runway, too. It's another design challenge. Yeah, what in the season three? We have a top two, y'all! Yeah. I hope Dawn gets a oh. win here, too. Yes. And and this is so good. Like, Dawn and Fantina, they're from the same region. Dawn kind of looks up to Fantina, okay? And Fantina, <laughs> you're a winner, baby, I guess. Oh, it, I think it's Fantina might be the Sasha Colby of this season. Look at that. That's three wins in a row. Look at all those track records. Hello? Look at that, Serena. Well, I'm almost like she never left. Episode nine, and Dawn won the mini challenge. Congrats, one Dawn. Win. Dawn finally won something. One win, Yay. according to Lucy LaDuca. And for this maxi challenge, we're doing another <laughs> runway. <laughs> Woo! I mean, a season that never got edited, and it was um, a comeback. Arbach came back, <laughs> it was three runways, and Arbach won all three in a row. It was wild. And Dawn <laughs> finally <laughs> got her win! And this is her plug moment. Yes. James and Zoe also did a good job. Zoe maintaining her high placement streak. But in the bottom we have, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I just started sweating. Fantina Salate the lip sync and Harley did bad. We know, we know what's coming. Fantina, Shantae, you stay. Ah, oh, Harley, you had a good this run. This is her vulnerability. This is her vulnerable moment. And in Untucked, Zoe has a meltdown. So James and Dawn view her as weak. Zoe's having a meltdown because she's haven't, she hasn't had a win in such a long time. Like she's been slaying every single challenge, being in the top every single week. No, still nothing. James, Dawn, and Serena shared personal memories to each other. Serena was, was sharing a personal memory with Dawn from her little, she was reading off of her little book, her little yeah. diary. We're Serena Chacha in this moment. We're Serena Chacha. <laughs> and James, James bought it in and was like, remember that time I tried to steal your Pokemon? And they're like, can you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that Dawn finally having her oh, win. Episode 10, we have the puppet mini challenge and Fantina won the mini challenge. And Fantina has the ghost type Pokemon, could manipulate the puppets with those. <laughs> Genius! Genius! Has and for the maxi challenge, we have the commercial challenge. And our winner is Fantina, netting her fifth win in this competition. <gasps> well, we have Serena and James in the bottom. I think Serena's gone. Serena, Shantae, you stay. What is going on here on this very day? James gets to go back home with Jesse, and it's gonna be a fun time. They're gonna go steal Pikachu. Oh, my cat really wants it. Just a second. I think I let my cat in, but I think my Reuniclus falling scared her away, and then she left. She heard Team Rocket got eliminated and was like, just this for meow. Look at those track records before the finale. We have Fantina with five wins, Dawn with a singular win, Zoe with so many high placements and one win, and Serena with her design win from episode five. Crazy that she was eliminated and then was immediately brought back. And then didn't do very well. All right, and let's see who voted for Miss Congeniality. And our winner is Juan! Wow! Yay! Congratulations! Lovely. Juan might have been eliminated that second season, burst out, but he really came to, you know, play the game and make those relationships with everybody. So congratulations on those $10,000. 10,000 Poke yeah. Dollars! Woo! You can buy so many Pokeballs and get so many free Premier Balls! <laughs> Where are those? James, James, Jesse, 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 Jesse. One, two, three. Just a tiebreaker, I guess. A tiebreaker? We just had a double win for Miss Congeniality. I don't care what the simulator says. There is a tie in our Miss Congeniality voting. There is one vote for James, two votes for James, three votes for James, and three votes for Juan. We have a tie, everybody! This season really is season 16. <laughs> James deserves it too. James had a, huff, a, had a tough go. Sorry. A tough go without Jesse around, being eliminated yeah. second. And it's time for our grand finale. Our top four will create verses and choreography for a new original song. And the twist for this season is the jury of your Best queers. Egg. Let's see who the queens voted for. Oh my gosh, the votes are in and we have Fantina and Dawn as the top two of the season. Woo! 
Woo! That storyline really paying off! I think that feels correct. I mean, the mentor, the absolute consummate professional against the newcomer who she has looked up to for so long. And for our lip sync for the crown, Dawn had a good lip sync. Fantina flopped the lip sync. Okay, Fantina. Her headdress, maybe her stuff was so heavy that she just, she barely could have moved. It was giving Kamora Hall. But because, she's still because we know she can turn a lip sync. She was in the bottom twice, and she was yes. in the top two lip sync with Dawn earlier in the and season. One. And our winner for Robbie for Short's Drag Race Season 3 Pokemon Contest Edition is Fantina! Congratulations! The absolute consummate professional from the Sinnoh yeah. region with five challenge wins. Five she needed to wild. win. The jury could have kicked her out, but they're like, there's literally, there's no other, like, there's no universe where Fantina doesn't win. They're like, it would just feel wrong. Do you remember who was third in the jury of your queers? Zoe was number third in the voting. I could not believe it. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Don't attack my track record like that. Of the wins I see, you don't have that many. Well, this was absolutely wonderful to have you, Aria. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun. Yeah, of course you would find this fun. This is your life. This is. is all you do on the internet. This is all I do every day, every hour. Of every day, of every week, of every month, of every year. Make sure you follow Aria Zero on all her social media platforms at Aria Zero Queen. And make sure you check out her video for Pokemon Drag Race Water. Um, you might uh, see a little more drama there. Um, maybe a little bit of a surprise at the end. Very on brand for me. Ditto is competing, so be excited for that. Thank you again so much for having me, Robbie. This season was a blast. It was honestly so much fun. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I appreciate you being here. Bye. Bye.